The invention of the camera is one of the most fascinating stories in the history of human technology. From the earliest observations of how light behaves to the complex digital systems we use today, the camera has undergone a remarkable transformation. It began as a scientific curiosity, evolved into an artistic tool, and eventually became a ubiquitous device used by billions of people around the world. The journey of the camera spans more than a thousand years, crossing continents, disciplines, and cultures, and its impact has been felt in art, science, journalism, medicine, and daily life. The roots of the camera lie in a basic scientific principle known as the camera obscura, a Latin term meaning dark chamber. The camera obscura is a simple optical device that uses a small hole or lens to project an inverted image of the outside world onto a surface inside a dark room or box. The phenomenon of image projection through a small aperture was known as early as the 5th century BCE, described by Chinese philosopher Mosey and later by Aristotle in ancient Greece. However, it was indeed until the 11th century that the camera obscura was clearly described and scientifically explained by the Islamic scholar Ibn al-Haytham, also known as al-Hazan. He not only documented how light travels in straight lines, but also built a working camera obscura to study solar eclipses safely. While the camera obscura could project images, it could not capture them. For centuries, it remained a tool for artists and scientists to study perspective and light. Renaissance artists like Leonardo da Vinci and Vermeer are believed to have used it to improve the accuracy of their drawings. The device evolved over time from large darkened rooms to more portable boxes with lenses and mirrors, but capturing the image permanently remained out of reach. The breakthrough came in the early 19th century with the invention of photography literally drawing with light. Scientists and inventors began searching for chemical processes that could fix or record the images projected by the camera obscura. The first known success was achieved by Joseph Nicephore Niepce, a French inventor. In 1826 or 1827, he produced the world's first permanent photograph using a process called heliography. He coated a pewter plate with bitumen of Judea, a light-sensitive material, and exposed it in a camera for several hours. The image, known as view from the window at La Grasse, is a grainy but recognizable picture of buildings and rooftops, and it marks the birth of photography. Niepce's process was groundbreaking, but it had limitations, including long exposure times and lack of detail. He later partnered with another Frenchman, Louis-Jacques Mand Daguerre, who was also experimenting with ways to capture images. After Niepce's death in 1833, Daguerre continued the work and eventually developed the daguerreotype in 1839. This process involved exposing a silver-plated copper sheet coated with iodine vapor then developing it with mercury fumes. The result was a highly detailed, one-of-a-kind image that could not be duplicated. The daguerreotype caused a sensation when it was introduced to the public, and the French government declared it a gift free to the world. At nearly the same time, across the English Channel, William Henry Fox Talbot was working on a different photographic process. Talbot's method, known as the calotype, used paper coated with silver iodide. Unlike the daguerreotype, the calotype produced a negative image that could be used to make multiple positive prints. Although calotypes were less sharp than daguerreotypes, the ability to reproduce photographs made Talbot's invention crucial for the future of photography. He is often credited with creating the basis for the modern photographic process. The mid-19th century saw rapid advances in photographic chemistry and camera design. One major improvement came with the wet collodion process, introduced by Frederick Scott Archer in 1851. This method combined the sharpness of the daguerreotype with the reproducibility of the calotype. A glass plate was coated with a mixture of collodion and a light-sensitive compound, then exposed and developed while still wet. Though it required a portable darkroom, it allowed for faster exposure times 
and became the dominant photographic method until the 1880s. As photography spread, so did the evolution of the camera itself. Early cameras were large, boxy devices mounted on tripods. They required long exposure times, careful preparation, and significant technical knowledge. Over time, cameras became smaller and more portable. The introduction of the bellows camera, which used a folding leather or cloth accordion between the lens and the film holder, allowed for easier focusing and compact storage. Camera lenses improved as well, with manufacturers like Zeiss and Voigtlander producing high-quality optics that reduced distortion and improved image quality. The next revolution in camera history came with the invention of dry plates in the 1870s. These plates, made of glass coated with a gelatin emulsion, did not require immediate development, freeing photographers from the need for a darkroom on site. This made photography more practical and accessible. Dry plates were also more sensitive to light, allowing for faster shutter speeds and the capture of motion. But the real democratization of photography began in 1888 when George Eastman, an American entrepreneur, introduced the Kodak camera. Eastman's camera was a simple, box-shaped device preloaded with a roll of flexible film. The user could take 100 exposures, then send the entire camera back to Kodak for developing, printing, and reloading. Eastman's slogan, you press the button, we do the rest, captured the revolutionary idea that photography should be easy and accessible to everyone. The Kodak camera popularized snapshot photography and laid the foundation for the consumer photography industry. Eastman continued to innovate, introducing roll film and more advanced cameras like the Brownie, which was marketed to children and sold for just one dollar. Roll film replaced glass plates and allowed for compact, lightweight cameras. The Brownie became wildly popular, especially among amateur photographers. By the early 20th century, photography had entered the mainstream. Families documented vacations, birthdays, and everyday life with inexpensive cameras, while professionals used more advanced equipment for studio portraits, journalism, and scientific purposes. As film technology improved, so did camera mechanics. The development of the shutter allowed for precise control of exposure time. The introduction of aperture control enabled photographers to adjust depth of field and light sensitivity. These features, combined with better lenses and faster film, made cameras more versatile and responsive. By the 1920s and 1930s, a wide range of cameras was available, from simple point-and-shoot models to sophisticated rangefinder and twin-lens reflex cameras. One of the most iconic cameras of this era was the Leica, introduced in 1925 by the German company Ernst Lietz. The Leica was the first commercially successful 35mm camera using motion picture film adapted for still photography. Its small size, superb lens quality, and fast shutter made it ideal for candid and documentary photography. The Leica played a key role in the rise of photojournalism, enabling photographers to capture spontaneous moments with clarity and speed. Photographers like Henry Cartier-Bresson and Robert Capa used Leicas to document war, politics, and daily life helping to define modern visual storytelling. In parallel, medium format and large format cameras continued to serve professional needs. Brands like Hasselblad and Roliflex produced high-end TLR and SLR cameras favored by studio photographers, fashion shooters, and even astronauts. The famous photograph of Earth rising over the moon's horizon, taken during the Apollo missions, was captured with a Hasselblad camera. The SLR design, which uses a mirror and prism to allow the photographer to see exactly what the lens sees, became dominant in the mid-20th century. Nikon, Canon, Pentax, and Minolta produced popular SLRS that combined optical precision with mechanical reliability. The color photography revolution added another dimension. While experiments with color date back to the 19th century, Practical color film was introduced in the 1930s. Kodachrome, released in 1935, 
was one of the first commercially successful color films. It offered rich, vibrant hues and was used for decades by photographers and filmmakers alike. Color photography expanded creative possibilities and changed how people perceived and documented the world. The second half of the 20th century saw continual improvements in film technology, camera automation, and accessibility. Cameras with built-in light meters, automatic exposure, autofocus, and motorized film advance became common. Compact cameras such as the Olympus XA and Canon Sure Shot made high-quality photography even more portable. Instant photography also emerged with the invention of Polaroid cameras by Edwin Land in the 1940s. These cameras could produce a finished print in seconds, allowing for immediate sharing and creative experimentation. The next massive shift occurred in the late 20th century with the advent of digital imaging. The development of the charge-coupled device in 1969 by Willard Boyle and George E. Smith allowed light to be captured electronically and converted into digital data. Early digital cameras were large and expensive, used mainly for scientific and military purposes. In the 1980s and 1990s, as CCD technology improved and costs fell, consumer digital cameras began to appear. The first true digital camera for consumers is often credited to the DICAM Model 1. Released in 1990, it stored black and white images in internal memory and transferred them to a computer. By the mid-1990s, companies like Kodak, Nikon, Sony, and Canon were producing digital cameras with color sensors, LCD screens, and removable storage cards. Image quality improved rapidly, and consumers began embracing the convenience of digital photography. No film, instant review, easy sharing, and computer editing. The digital camera boom peaked in the 2000s. Point-and-shoot cameras dominated the market, and digital SLRS became the tool of choice for professionals. Photo editing software like Adobe Photoshop gave photographers unprecedented control over their images. Yet, the biggest transformation came with the rise of smartphones. Early camera phones like the Sharp Jace H04 could take low-resolution photos. But over time, phone cameras improved dramatically. Apple's iPhone, introduced in 2007, set a new standard for mobile photography. Modern smartphones now feature multiple lenses, computational photography, a powered enhancements, and integration with cloud services. Billions of people now carry a high-quality camera in their pocket every day. Photography has become a form of daily communication social interaction, and artistic expression. Platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok have built entire ecosystems around sharing images and videos. Today, camera technology continues to evolve. Companies like Sony, Fujifilm, and Panasonic lead the mirrorless market, while Canon and Nikon have joined with competitive models. At the same time, innovations in computational photography are redefining what a camera can do. In the future, technologies like light field cameras, 3D imaging, augmented reality, and quantum sensors may further expand the boundaries of visual capture. From the dark chambers of ancient scholars to the powerful digital devices in our hands, the history of the camera is a story of curiosity, creativity, and relentless innovation. It has turned invisible rays of light into visible memories, frozen moments in time, and revealed worlds invisible to the naked eye. The camera is more than a machine. It is a mirror of the world and a witness to history. And its journey is far from over.